I wanted to run Llama 2 models on CPU. Okay, so for this, I make use of the quantized versions of Llama 2 models. Okay, so there is this person, the bloke, who keeps releasing these quantized versions of large language models on Hugging Face. Okay, so here is a Llama 2 13 billion parameters ensemble model. Okay, and earlier there was a format called, you know, GGML for quantized models from the Llama.cpp team. Okay, so they have introduced a new format called GGUF. Okay, so this format offers numerous advantages over GGML such as better tokenization, support for special tokens. Okay, it also supports metadata and is designed to be extensible. Okay, now what is this Llama.cpp project? So if you go over here to their GitHub, right, uh, their idea is to actually, you know, to run Llama model using 4-bit integer quantization on a MacBook. Okay, so basically they want to run say this 2-bit, 3-bit, 4-bit, 5-bit, 6-bit and 8-bit integer quantization support they have, right, but now they also support Windows and a lot of other Linux and other platforms. Okay. So this particular uh, library, they have a new format called GGUF. Okay, so these models over here are based on this particular GGUF format. Okay, and the best part is that if you go over here, you have these various size quantized models. Okay, you have two bits, you have three bit quantized models, four bit quantized models. So for the 13 uh, billion parameter model, okay, uh, they just require, uh, say for example, if you use the 4-bit quantized version, they only require a maximum of 9.87 GB of system memory and they run on CPUs as well. Okay. So, let's try out this. Right. For running these particular models, you need, if you have to run on Python, you need actually C transformers installed. Okay. This is a library which supports this, uh, you know, uh, these quantized models okay to run on cpus right so what i am doing over here in my notebook is first i need to install c transformers and the version is specified over here version greater than this okay then from c transformers i import auto model for causal lm okay then i can do llm auto model for causal lm from pre-trained and here i specify the repository which is the bloke llama 2 13 billion ensemble model Okay, the GGUF forward. I also specify the model file which I want. Okay, so I am using this vfi.q5 because if you go over here, uh, see this is a CPU instance and this has up to 13 GB of RAM. Okay, 12.68 GB of RAM. Okay, so what I am doing over here is that I am using this particular version. Okay, uh, where is it? Let me go over here. Uh, I'm using this V5 Q5 version because uh, they say this is a slightly large model. It's 5 bit quantization, uh, low quality loss recommended. Okay. Um, so I'm using this particular model over here, right? So maximum system requirement is 11.47 GB over here. So I'm using this particular model. Okay. So in this way, you can instantiate a model type is equal to Llama because I'm not using GPU. I am putting GPU layers is equal to zero. If you want to do CPU, GPU computation, then you can push some layers to GPU. But this is purely on CPU, so I am setting that to zero. And this is how I am generating text over here. I am say I am saying LLM AI is going to. Okay, now it will just do text generation and it will generate the text. So basically, it downloads the model and it says that a task can be categorized into three this thing so ai is going to create a lot of jobs but it is also going to display some workers and then it generates this text okay this is just simple text generation okay right so the things to be noted is that we make use of c transformers and this is how you instantiate a model a quantized model and then you can run it now you can play around with this model file to try out these different models and see which gives you better performance Okay, as simple as this. This is running on CPU. And this was quite fast in terms of generation. Okay. Now, you can also make use of these models in Langchain 
because langchain supports C transformers. Okay, so you can run GGML models. Okay, you can also run GGUF models because that is the latest format and it is supported by C transformers. So you can run them within langchain. Okay, so they have given how to do it. So let's try it out. That's what I'm doing over here. I'm installing langchain. Okay, then what I'm doing is that from langchain.llms here I have to import C transformers and if you see capital CT over here, it's a slightly different way than from say if you're directly using it in Python like this, right from C transformers import this, but here it is CT transformers. Okay, right. Then I'm instantiating the model over here. So CT transformers model is equal to again, this is the repository path. This is the model file, right dot GGUF file model type is equal to llama. So it instantiates the LLM over here. Then what I can do is that I can do a prompt template and an LLM chain over here. And the template over here is that I just want to do it for summarization. So I write, write a concise summary of the following text delimited by triple back quotes, return your response in bullet points, which covers this thing. And here is my text. This is my template for the prompt. Okay. And here I create, um, you know, prompt template. I pass this template and input variables as this text, right? And I am creating an LLM chain with my prompt and the LLM instantiated over here, which is your GGUF 13 billion Lama 2 model. Okay. Right. For more details about this model, you have it over here. Like, you know, I'll be putting this link. So this is actually from another person called, you know, GGUF format for this particular Lama 2 Ensemble V5 model. Okay. So that is present over here. Not much details are present in the model card, but it is for this particular model. Okay. Right. Now you can actually define your text like this. So I have defined a text over here and I am saying LLM chain dot run text. So this is for summarization. And here I found out that, you know, uh, the context length for by default is 512 for this particular LLM. I am given it more. So you can actually change that using config files. So here in this particular page, they explain, you know, you can change the config over here and you can instantiate your C transformers model with this config. So you can change it. Okay. Right. I have not done it over here, but you can find the parameter and you can change it. This takes a good amount of time. That is what I observed. Right. Whereas this generation was quite fast. Okay. Just text generation over here was quite fast. This uh, text generation was fast, but this summarization took some amount of time, a good amount of time. Okay. I did not really measure it, but yes, it was uh, a little bit slower. Okay. But then it generates summary like this, right? You know, Tesla by this thing, it's okay. Uh, you know, headquarters, some mistakes are there in this particular text. Okay. So the accuracy of the models and other things, we need to verify which model is doing well for us right among these in uh, quantized models, which gives better performance is something which we can check out. Okay, so I'm not looking into the accuracy of the model over here, or what kind of results it's generating. But this is the method. So here I give another piece of text over here, uh, you know, a small text over here, and I it's about Apple and then I try to see if it can generate a summary. Uh, it ran for something and it gave like this, right? The summarization quality is not that great. Okay. Uh, I think it depends on the prompt over here because this is just the pre-trained model. It's not the fine tuned or the instruction tuned model. So it will depend on the prompt as well as it will depend on, you know, uh, which particular quantized version of the model I'm using over here. So this is the idea of how you can run Llama 2 on CPUs. Now you can actually go back to, you know, uh, the bloke over here in hugging face. There will be various versions of models over here. So you can keep ch checking out, right? What kind of models are available for Llama 2. And then you can select the model which you want to run and you can, you know, use that model in this code and still run it. If it's a GGUF or GGML models. Okay. That's the idea over here, right? For example, I'm just seeing if there is any other Llama 2 models over here. There could be other Llama 2 models as well over here. Uh, okay, there is uncensored GGUF model over here. So maybe this is something which you can try. Right, and uh, let me see if there are other models. 
yeah there are different models over here open source models so you can try out the different llama 2 models okay wait what was this llama 2 i think i saw this is an instruction tuned okay this is a huge model uh, this is an uh, upstage llama 2 70 billion parameters model okay this would require even more ram i believe because if you go over here let's see what is the amount of ram required yeah this requires even more LAM, uh, more ram okay but you can if you have a cpu instance with this kind of a ram you can run you know even a 70 billion parameter model okay i'll be putting the link to uh, you know uh, this particular latest model release which i used in this notebook in the description of the video okay i'll be putting a link to the collab notebook as well uh, c transformers uh, how to make use of them in langchain llama.cpp in the description of the video i hope this video is useful for to you if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video